Hello, everybody. My name is Lawrence. I am the provost of the BitMEX Academy, and welcome to the first episode of the BitMEX Academy podcast slash YouTube show. Uh, I will be inviting uh, guests from a variety of different, uh, different areas of, of the crypto space to talk to me and teach me about crypto and the, the, all the different uh, businesses and people that operate in the crypto ecosystem. I hope to learn a lot and I hope that you guys will learn something as well. Today I'm here with Kirill Suslov. Kirill, please introduce yourself. Hey Lawrence, I'm Kirill. I'm a founder of Tap Trader. Tap Trader is this app for trading crypto on mobile. Uh, I, I founded it in 2016 with my partners, my brother, and two other co founders. Um, and now we're one of the largest uh, trading terminals in the world. Fantastic. All right. And Kirill, when we were looking at who to sort of get started in this series with, uh, your name and of course Tab Trader came up right away because you have some really interesting things going on uh, for you recently. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, sure. We just closed our Series A round. It was a 5.8 million round. Uh, we were backed by 100x Ventures, Spartan Capital, Hashkey, SGH, SOSV and Artesian Venture Partners. So this round will be used to uh, get more development done, to get into the DeFi space, because right now we are in the um, aggregating centralized exchanges, but we like to get into the DEXs, into the DeFi, staking, trading on uh, the centralized platforms and so on. Very cool. 100X Ventures, of course, being our venture arm. So very happy to hear that we're supporting you, you there. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, the state of Tab tra what Tab tra Trader is today though. Sure. Right now we are a mobile first or mobile only uh, trading terminal. So it's an app on Android and iOS where you can trade on multiple centralized exchanges. Right now, we've got 30 largest exchanges, including BitMEX, FTX, Binance, Kraken, and all of the largest exchanges, as well as smaller regional exchanges, uh, such as, let's say, um, Mercado Bitcoin for Brazil, such as Vietnamese exchanges, uh, such as Indonesian in the DAX, such as um, Indian exchanges uh, such as Coin DCX um, and others. So you are able to download our free app, uh, use everything completely for free, and then uh, you can input your API keys, which you generate in your, let's say, BitMEX account. Go to settings, then you generate API keys. This is like a login and password for apps like ours to access your account. And then you're able to place trades without needing to go to each separate exchange, without needing to download each separate app for each uh, exchange in, in, individually. Because typically, if you are a crypto enthusiast, you have an account on multiple exchanges. So let's say you trade spot on Binance, you trade derivatives on BitMEX, you trade some altcoins on Bittrex, and instead of having uh, like 2FA login to every website and having multiple browser tabs open, you just get one app and you are able to trade on the go wherever you are in the car, uh, at, uh, at work, if you work in non crypto related business or anywhere else. Sounds super exciting. Yeah, it so sounds like a great solution. And how uh, has the market sort of responded to, to your offering so far? Uh, we've been the most popular trading platform, irrespective whether it's mobile or desktop. We beat all the desktop competitors. Um, 
and uh, users find it very, very useful because, for example, we can judge by the retention of the app. So if you look at three month download retention, meaning that in three months, how many people still have the app installed? We got like over 32% three month retention, download retention, which is super, super high. This is like on par with Netflix, on par with WhatsApps of the world. Uh, and also the product has been very, very viral. It's easy to be viral on like a, uh, on a bull market when you are, everything is growing, your portfolio is growing, your charts are growing, and you are very likely to share whatever you see in the app. So people have been posting screenshots of our app on Twitter, on Telegram, and thus promoting us, promoting Tap Trader, because there's a little watermark there. Uh, and people are asking, oh, what's this app? Oh, what's this app? And we constantly get our screenshot posted in like Binance, um, Telegram chats, and like FTX has charts on all like trading uh, academies of the world. Like people prefer to trade on mobile. It was a huge shift from, let's say, five years ago when everyone preferred trading on their MetaTrader, uh, trading Forex and MetaTrader on the desktop. Now everyone wants to trade on mobile. You wake up with your mobile phone, you go to bed with your mobile phone, and you trade with the mobile phone. Yeah, it makes sense. Do you think that a lot of people are using the mobile as the primary portal to trade? Or is it just like, hey, I'll trade on my desktop when I'm at my desktop, but maybe I'm walking around and I have an idea and I want to execute a trade you know, while I'm on the train. So I'll, I'll use the mobile version at that time. Oh, that's a good question. In fact, there's been studies and there have been reports, like a lot of um, traditional finance uh, firms, they publish annual reports, especially the public with trading ones. And from those reports, we learned that more than 75% of their new users and trading volume, retail trading volume comes from mobile. So it means that people actually prefer trading from mobile. In the crypto, it's exactly the same. Like this, even the same number, 75% of users, they come to a website to uh, exchanges websites from their mobiles, whether it's a mobile app or mobile web, they prefer trading via mobile phone. Interesting. Very, very interesting. And so tell us, um, what is it about your app that makes it better than others? Uh, it's, not like the, the... it's not it's not like you're the only trading trading app right i mean look you can exactly. answer this question from your personal perspective right because you built the app but i think you know if we look at the as you said like the usage statistics right you're obviously doing something right what is it that you're doing that you feel like other uh trading apps for crypto just haven't quite gotten gotten right sure um <clears throat> We um, have four foundational pillars to our app that users find the most value in. First one, it's um, the, the number of sheer assets, assets and exchanges in the app. We've got 30 exchanges, we've got 12,000 instruments or even more now where you can trade. So it's pretty much the entire investable universe of crypto related assets, decentralized assets. Whatever you want to trade, you'll find it in Tap Trader. Secondly, um, you are able to trade those because our competitors, let's say, great company Trading View, they provide a uh, charting capability for the same number of assets. No, no, sorry, even smaller, I guess. I haven't checked. So, despite being called Trading View, you cannot trade there. With Tap Trader, you can trade or whatever exchange there is, just by adding your API keys. So trading ability is also very important. Third, we got uh, alert systems. So you're able to place alerts on multiple uh, assets that you want. Uh, and we have pretty much unlimited alerts. Like we limit our, not even logged in users, we limit to 150 alerts. Regular people don't, don't even need 150 alerts. We allow that. For some reason, crypto people, they like their alerts. And we've revised our alert infrastructure to be the fastest in the world. So 
there has been a study by some independent dude on Reddit <laughs> who reported that the second best alternative to alerts is eight minutes, 33 seconds late. You wouldn't mm. need an alert that's eight minutes late. Uh, and lastly, we have, um, we have, I think the best uh, charting in the app. So our competitors, all of our competitors have relied on trading view library. It's a proprietary library, low source library that every other app uses, every other <clears throat> website uses. We developed our own thing. So the charting is super smooth. It, it is the fastest in the industry. It's built from, for mobile. It's built in native languages, such as Kotlin for Android, such as Swift for iOS. Uh, and hence it's um, mobile optimized, built for mobile, and it's the fastest. It can provide you with fast, super fast um, swiping, zooming, pinching, whatever uh, and gestures you want to use. You can draw a lot of technical analysis there and you wouldn't feel crippled by using a mobile phone like you have with uh, other uh, competitive apps. Very cool. I like that, the four, the four pillars. And um, you mentioned uh, about the limitations uh, a second ago. And you also mentioned that the app is, is free for yeah. uh, free to download, right? So, but how, how do you guys make money? Sure. Well, the app is freemium. Um, basically, you download it for free. You use the entire functionality for free. Nothing is hidden by a paywall. But um, once you become generating more user-generated content, such as more drawings on the chart, more watch lists you monitor, more instruments that you track in every watch list, you become a power user. So. We set limits to affect 10% of our power users. So if you have more than 150 alerts, a regular user doesn't need 150 alerts, power users need. So it means they are making money or they are uh, deeply involved in crypto. And we charge them right now a monthly subscription of about $12 per month. And thousands of people have subscribed to it. So, uh that's one thing how we generate revenue second uh we have uh, banner ads inside the app so like in seven days after download you start seeing uh, a little non-intrusive banner ad it's not like a whole screen takeover or pop-up it's a small banner app uh, banner uh, under the chart and uh this banner has put us in like top three crypto advertisers in the world. So a lot of people use our app, hence a lot of uh, use of our banner uh, happen each day. And advertisers, our partners, exchanges, for example, they've been able to buy out those advertising opportunities. Uh, and lastly, uh, some exchanges such as Binance, such as BitMEX, such as FTX and more others, they offer rebates. So if you bring more users to their platforms, we get a referral fee, which is about 12, uh, 20%. Uh, and hence we uh, provide some retail order flow, no retail order flow, retail, uh, new retail accounts to those exchanges and they pay us uh, about 20% of the commissions that they generate from those, those users. So exchanges pay us. Mm, on the back end. However, one thing I have to mention about our advertising, they will be deprecating advertising. It's not sexy and I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of advertising in general. So we'll just probably get rid of advertising altogether and we remain, we'll just re, uh, have uh, a pro plan and this rebate system uh, in the future. And when we go into the DEX, uh, DEXs, we'll, tap into the new business model, a transactional business model, where you can have a fee on each order, which we couldn't do in centralized um, exchange aggregation, but we can in decentralized exchange aggregation. Gotcha, sounds exciting. And how much is that pro, uh, the pro plan? Oh, the pro plan is $12 per month. Okay, very cool. So for $12 a month, I have access to all of the features 
And then additional revenue that you guys make is paid by the exchange. So I think pretty pretty yeah. low cost for the uh, for for okay great. Um, so Carol, war stories. It wasn't easy to take Tab Trader to where it is now, right? I've heard you have some great stories. Why don't you uh, first of all? Why don't you tell us about the beginning of how uh, you got connected to Bitmex? Sure. Um, we uh, we first met Arthur Hayes in 2016 in Helsinki. There was a conference called Slush. And this conference starts tomorrow, by the way. It's like every year this conference happens. And we've been going there since 2016. And tomorrow we'll be there as well. So if anyone is in Helsinki, you can come by to our booth. Um, it is until the 2nd of December. It's always the same every year. So we met um, Arthur there. He was pitching BitMEX. And in 2016, uh, <laughs> it was very hard to pitch crypto way projects. First, you had to explain what crypto is, what a blockchain is, and it's like taking a lot of time. He, he, just, he was explaining what crypto and Bitcoin and blockchain for almost um, majority of his uh, presentation. Then he was pitching about BitMEX. BitMEX is another complication on top of this complication that's derivatives exchange. And back then they had like 4x leverage uh, only, not like 100x leverage. So people couldn't even rub their hands around, uh, hands around what he was talking about. Um, and at the time there was uh, only two derivative exchanges present. I think it was I, ICB or something like that. Um, derivative exchange also developed also by a friend of mine um, and uh, Arthur was uh, uh, competing with only one derivative exchange at the moment and we approached him and uh, we basically were the first mobile app uh, to get crypto to the or at BitMEX in fact to mobile users so we introduced BitMEX into our app and people have been able uh, to trade on BitMEX there via, via their mobile phones. Very cool. Yeah. And when was the first time? Because I think we also participated in your seed round. Yeah. So our seed round wasn't like a classical seed round when you buy a Silicon Valley standards, when you have an idea and you get some money to execute on this idea. We were already like an established company or and profitable and but it, it was in crypto winter crypto winter of 2018 the famous one the most recent one um and we didn't know how long it will last so we had to raise uh some money we called it the seed round we could have called it a different name but uh, we raised just a little bit to survive the crypto winter in case it lasts uh, a bit longer than we expected and um, I emailed Arthur uh, and he put me in touch with the VC team, uh, Max and Kumar, and uh, we put together a fund around them. Very cool. And it looks like that's turning out to have been a, a great investment. I don't know if we're gonna have time to go deep into all of what you have planned in the deck space right now, but I, I know you have a IDO coming up and uh, TTT token. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. First of all, TTT tokens. It's not for Americans. If you're from the United uh, States, just leave this channel right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every, everyone's scared of the US persons. So are we. Uncle Sam has uh, his ways. Uh, <laughs> so TTT token, it's an IDO. Uh, sorry, it, it, it's a token uh, for which we're doing an IDO on Selenium and Radium launchpads. Uh, it's gonna be live on the 2nd of December. You'll be able to get it on those launchpads uh, from the 1st or 2nd of December. Uh, this token is a pure utility, pure, pure utility token. So it's not a security. Uncle Sam, if you're listening, it's not a security token. It's a utility token. Uh, with users will be able to get a lot of perks inside our app. The most obvious use case, for example, is governance. 
Right now, we have a public roadmap, and we've always had a public roadmap for our users to vote on, on the features they want, on the exchanges they want. Users were able to vote via Trello. It's this little app that was acquired by Atlassian recently, but it's very inconvenient to log in, to give a vote, and it's like susceptible to manipulation by bots and fake votes. So governance is one of the things that you could do with a TTT token and vote on whatever next features you want, whatever next exchanges you want, you want whatever next tokens you want to see in the app. Uh, secondly, you'll be able to pay this $12 per month subscription or part of it or get rebated for it with our own token uh, or by staking our own token um and basically get our services our pro services for free um thirdly once we get uh, DAXs into the app we'll be able to charge transaction fees uh, and users will be able to pay those transaction fees with our own native token <clears throat> and uh i think i have to mention that this token Initially, it will be only available, available on the web platform. We are launching a web platform like in a couple of days or weeks. Uh, it will be completely synchronized with your mobile phone, but the token will be available on the web only. It has to do with limitations of Google and Apple. So users will be able only to access the benefits of, of the token via their web uh, terminal. It's also a very important disclaimer if any <laughs> Apple or Google people listen to us. So many disclaimers these days. Yeah, I think all of us in this industry are accustomed to, to <laughs> disclaimers. Um, Carol, thanks so much for, for taking the time. Um, we'd love to see how Tab Trader continues to evolve and uh, hope to have you back, uh, back on at some point. Thank you, Lawrence. It's been super fun. Thanks. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.